Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Happy Saturday afternoon, and welcome to the March 2022 live coral sale. Just uh, give everybody some time to, to find the stream. I welcome everybody. What's up there, Courtney? Kyle, good afternoon to you. And... Um, so what do I want to talk about before we get into the uh, into the uh, live sale? <clears throat> well, a few things. So Saturdays are usually you know a big day for me in terms of doing tank maintenance. So this morning I did I did a big one. I did some cleaning of my pumps, which I do every three months. And um, yeah, so one of the pumps that I cleaned was a new pump that I never cleaned before, and when I took it apart. So Wade, when I took it apart and put it back together, I, it was my skimmer pump. So it was it, it's my new skimmer pump for my Royal Exclusive um, new uh, new skimmer. And so I put it back together and put it in the uh, in the sump. And I noticed in the bucket that I had I had you know parts soaking. There was an extra part that I didn't um, somehow account for and put back into the uh, into the skimmer pump. So I was like, hmm, that's interesting. What uh, what am I gonna do with that? So I had no idea where that uh, part went. I tried to turn on the pump, which was a stupid thing, and I got an error message, so that was good. And then um, then I took it back apart, and I found exactly where it went. Put the uh, that extra part back inside there, and voila, it worked. So I was a happy camper. But uh, yeah, you know. It's, uh, you got to do what you got to do in terms of that tank maintenance and keep up with it and all that stuff. So folks, thanks, uh, thanks again for, um, tuning into the live, uh, coral sale and just want to do some housekeeping uh, things to, uh, to start it off. I'm going to have a uh, hundred really chunky, chunky, uh, for, I think there's only like maybe two, three quarter inch frags that are, uh, going to be up for grabs today. So they're high quality frags, and I actually fragged probably three quarters of them back in January. I did a major redesign of my website, and and for those of you that know the uh, the old website and are on the new website, I'd love to get your feedback in terms of how that experience is in terms of the uh, the user experience for the new reefbum.com. Um, but it took a lot longer than I thought to get the new website launched, and I wanted to do a live sale earlier than I'm doing it right now. So I had um, clipped a whole bunch of frags for anticipating a live sale that was going to happen a lot sooner than it did. So the good thing is that those things have been sitting there cooking for a long time, for a couple of months. So, you know, maybe a, a quarter of the frags that are off offered up for the uh, live sale today will um, be fresh cut from, from about a week and a half ago. But most of them are are really well um, encrusted, super healthy, super colorful, and chunky, chunky. And I got, I've got some a um, couple of um, Jason Fox home records, which are huge. You rarely see big Jason Fox home record frags, so I've got a couple of those in the live sale. The um, so let's let's just kind of go over the um, some some tidbits here. If you want to look at the detailed rules. For the live sale, just visit reefbum.com slash live sale. That'll explain it all in uh, very um, in, in detail. Drug Monkey RX, I need a bigger tank, damn it. Yeah, there you go. What's up, Melanie? And um, if you want to purchase corals during the live sale, visit reefbum.com slash shop live sale. That'll get you to the WYSIWYG section of the website but if you just type in reefbum.com slash shop live sale you will find it thank you yes i try to i try to cut really large frags because i'm a hobbyist at heart and i don't like to get little microscopic frags thank you drug monkey rx so each coral that we're going to be going through on the um live sale will have an item number and on the uh, shopping page, you will see that item number. So to buy a frag, you must put it in your cart. 
and complete the checkout process. And if it's under $300 in terms of purchases for each individual purchase that you make, you're going to need to purchase a $50 shipping module to, to uh, account for that. If you want to make additional purchases during the live sale, you can do that. There's an option to add to order and um, you won't get charged extra shipping. So if you have, you could, you could, you could purchase a, a frag at the beginning, you could purchase frags along the way. And if you total over $300 for the entire live sale, then you will get free shipping no matter what. So if you purchase a shipping module and you go over the 300, then I will refund the, uh, the $50, the, the sales prices. So the advantage here is that if you're not watching live, if you catch the replay on this, or if you're just visiting the website, the, um, the discounts are good until Tuesday, March 29th. And the discounts are up to 20%. Most, most of the frags are 20% off. So the discounts will apply through Tuesday, March 29th. So if you guys have any, uh, yep, Clements, UPS, I use UPS. Any other questions, um, drop them in the chat. You know, and along the way, we could um, do some Q&A if you guys want to. I'm going to be kind of juggling a few different balls here. During the live sale, I'll do my best to keep on top of any questions in the chat. And, you know, let me know if anything is not working. It is a brand new website, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's not going to blow up on me. But um, we should be good. The other thing I want to mention is that if you do have a coupon code, uh, coupons will not be good for, for items that are on sale, which every item in the uh, live sale will be on sale. I would pay double for a home record if it could be delivered to the UK. <laughs> yeah. Guys don't have any home records uh, across the uh, pond there, huh? Yeah. All right. So if there are no other questions, I'm, uh, I'm drinking a fa my favorite beverage here, which happens to be the, uh, the Lawson's uh, Sip of Sunshine, double IPA, local Vermont beer. So I encourage you to, Pick your beverage of choice, sit back, relax, and let's watch some corals. All right. So with that, let me just do a couple of things here, and we are going to get going. So first up is the Tyree Blue Matrix. It's, it's a super blue frag. It's probably one of my more popular... Um, frags i um i've been hitting the colony pretty hard been fragging it a lot so i always get great polyp extension on it and um i love i love blue corals so if you're looking for a, a hairy blue frag then this is what you need to pick up Harry Blue Matrix, an old school classic. Old school classic. All right, what do we got next? Bright, bright orange with green tips. Such a cool digi. Such a cool digi, the ATL Forest Fire digi. Um, this one is uh, one and one quarter inches. So. It's chunky, multi-branch, and I don't know. I always love a splash of color in my reef tanks, so this always seems to find a way in one of my, you know, one of my tanks. And uh, grows like a weed. You know, it's a monopore, very, very hardy. It's beautiful. I love solid, solid color corals. Speaking of easy to keep. We have the Milka Stylo. Milka Stylo is such a cool coral, beautiful purple. It, um, what can I tell you about it? It's a, uh, it's hardy. Again, it's just, it's, it's a style of four. It's hardy. I just, um, I have, Two display tanks, and I have uh, a colony in each of the display tanks. 
So it's um it's one of my favorites because again it's another solid color coral that uh, is striking. It's like a centerpiece. I think it's like a centerpiece type of coral. Next up, we have the Jackson's Rainbow Tenuous. This is a um, one of the original Rainbow Tenuous out there. It, um, hang on one second. Doing a little juggling here. Uh, make these available. The, uh, the Jackson Rainbow Tenuous, when you get it going right in terms of the lighting and the, uh, you know, the uh, water quality, you get some awesome pink and red highlights. And, um, yeah, I think it's, um, it's such a really cool Rainbow Tenuous. All right. Number five is Tari Lime in the Sky. And it is another old school coral that uh, is a staghorn. It's got these kind of baby blue tips on it. So I've got, I've got a big colony in my 187 gallon tank and it grows pretty fast for me. I love stags. Again, color, solid color coral, OG type of coral. And I've got a few Tyree uh, corals. Got a thing for those kind of corals. I don't know. Next up, we have the Reef Bum Gold Metal Millie. I'm a big fan of Millipora. This one kind of reminds me of the um, of the cops. Uh, Millipora, the, um, what's the name of it? It's, it's just escaping, um, me right now in terms of the, uh, the cops coral, but, uh, yeah, you know, this one's so cool because it's, it's got these golden polyps and coralites, but it's also got these green tips. So, I don't know. It's, um, it grows pretty, at a pretty good pace for me. Just dig, dig Milliporas. Next, we have the Blue Boy table. How many times do you see a blue table? Plus, this sucker has orange polyps. <laughs> so it's a blue table with orange polyps. I think it's a very uh, under-the-radar kind of coral. I haven't seen it really out there too often. So... It, um, as you can see, that's a picture, a video of it in my, um, my frag tank. And, uh, it grows pretty, pretty fast for me. It grows pretty fast. Next up. We have the Purple Slimer. This is another coral that is just very popular among my customers. I just seem to always, um sell out on this uh on this particular coral it's it's a um i dig purple i love purple corals and uh yeah so it, it definitely is a um it's a slimer because whenever i frag the thing it it, uh, it does its thing in terms of sliming so and i love the look of staghorns you know look at the end of the um one of the branches there pretty freaking cool All right. Next up is the kryptonite tenuous. And let me tell you, if you're looking for something to really grab your attention in your tank, then this is this is the coral to uh, to think about because it's so so um neon green. It's it's greener than a valley green slimer. It's just and it grows so fast. It's like a weed for me. Um, I've got it in um, in a frag tank. Bunch of frags in the frag tank. There's the colony shot of it. 
in the uh, peninsula tank so it's so cool man if you got you know if you got like the blue lighting that thing is going to just stand out it's going to like burn the retinas <laughs> on your uh out of your i mean it's just unbelievable so next up we've got the um tyree red dragon this kind of fits my theme in terms of digging solid bright colored corals and it um pretty hardy for me grows pretty fast it's a smooth skin you know acro it's got the white polyps another old school uh coral i guess you guys can kind of see a theme here in terms of um you know the types of corals that i like being old school solid color so and again that's another popular coral All right, next up, we have Sunset Montipora, a classic encrusting Montipora. I mean, look at that. It's bright orange with these green and yellow polyps. It, um, it's gentle, too, you know, it, and it, it will uh, certainly grow fast and encrust over the rocks and, and, and what have you, but it's gentle. It, do, it doesn't bother my... Uh, my other acropora in the tank so it it won't um really climb up and and encrust over that stuff so it's uh it's a super gentle but it's gorgeous coral and it just can spread on the rocks and kind of fill in some some gaps there all right next up look at the size of that home wrecker this home wrecker is how large is this this is one and three quarter inches that uh that home wrecker huge it's huge so if you're looking to pick up a big chunk of the uh of the home wrecker then you might want to think about this one i mean you could freaking frag this thing and make back some money with um you know if you pick that up maybe frag it twice i don't know <laughs> but uh yeah you know there's a shot of the mother colony so it's just a um it's a huge frag of the home wrecker. What do we got up next? Ah another Tyree Blue Matrix frag. This one is um three quarters of an inch. So all right, this is one of the um the smaller frags that I have in the live sale but you know again it's a um it's a pretty hardy coral for me it's got great polyp extension it's super blue you know there's not a lot of blue corals out there so if you like the full spectrum lighting and all that stuff then um this would would really pop there's a uh, picture of the uh the mother colony so it's a good grower for me and um again it's a pretty popular coral with my customers All right, next, another classic encrusting Montipora. This is a mystic sunset Monty. It is red with these purple kind of neon polyps. I uh, have a lot of it that uh, had encrusted rock in my 187-gallon tank. Grows fast, and it's also a gentle encrusting Montipore. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go to war with other corals um, next to it. Really cool. I mean, it's just I've got, um, I've got this colony now in my peninsula tank, and it's red, man. It just stands out. It's like red, you know, big splash of color, big splash of color. All right, up next is the pearlberry knockoff table and the story on this thing is that um it was sold to me as an or8 pearlberry it obviously was not an or8 pearlberry it's got the pearlescent coloration on the tips but what's really cool and you're going to see this with the um colony shot the mother colony is that it's a table and i love tables so it's it's this um greeny greenish pearlescent uh, tip look at that it's so cool it's so cool. So if you're looking for to to add a, you know, a colorful uh, table, 
then this one is a um, certainly one to consider. All right, what we got up next? We have a um, another ATL forest fire. Digi, as I mentioned before, it is bright orange with green tips. Fast grower, super hardy. So if you are looking to kind of add that color to your tank, then uh, I would highly recommend getting this. And they, uh, yeah, they, they grow pretty, uh, they grow like a weed for me. Really cool uh, coral. You could see it from across the room in a display tank. Conversation piece. All right, next up. We've got the Jason Fox Frankie's Kryptonite Acro. This is a purple coral. It's kind of got this um, cream-colored base to it. So um, I talked about this before. I dig purple corals. It's a solid color. It's like an Ostera. I think it's pretty sure it's an Ostera um, coral. It's from Jason Fox. Mine grows really um, pretty quickly. In my, I've got a colony as you can see right there in my uh in my frag tank so it's a uh it's a really cool eye-catching uh coral all right now check this out this is a huge huge oregon blue tort it's four inches tall all right so this is like a little mini colony of the Oregon blue, Oregon. I don't know. I, I think I'm pronouncing it right. I always get a lot of flack from people in uh, Oregon about uh, my pronunciation of the Oregon blue tort, but uh, I think I got it right. So yeah, this is a uh, super, super large Oregon blue tort. And uh, man, if you, if you, it's like the bluest coral out there. And I don't, I don't think they get any bluer than the Oregon blue tort. So Pretty popular also a lot of my uh, customers Superman Monty another classic classic encrusting um, Montipora this say uh, um, this coral is got this purple uh, lavender skin and bright red polyps a real looker. Thanks, Reef C forever and Sharon. Appreciate that. So um yeah, you know, again, look at that. So you grow a colony like that in your tank, then it's gonna look primarily red, super red, and then you get up close, you're gonna see kind of like that uh, purple lavender uh, skin on it. So it's such a cool, cool uh Montepora. So cool. All right. This is called another Blue Boy Table Frag. All right, we already uh, had one of those frags. This is the second Blue Boy uh, Table Frag. Frag number three. They're all kind of mixed up a little bit here. Um, grows fast. It can actually handle some uh, lower light um, conditions. I have, um, I actually started growing it out in my 187 gallon uh, tank and it got shaded out big time and it was still like growing. It was still alive. So, um, it could take a lot of different kind of lighting conditions. I've got I've got it under some higher par, like 300 par in the Peninsula tank, and um, in the 187 gallon tank, it's getting much less light, much less light. All right, this is a uh, another old school coral, the uh, Seaquarium Unknown, and it's it's got such a neat formation for me it's a uh, it's it's kind of shaped like a tulip it's got a single stalk in my colony i'm not sure you're gonna be able to see yeah you'll be able to see it in the colony shot a single stalk and then these branches that come out from the uh from the top so it looks like that you'll see it in a uh, in a second um it grows really well it's got like these purple tips i'm not sure who else has this uh coral it's a pretty hard coral to find and it's uh, not terribly expensive, so I think it's a really, really neat addition to any um, any tank.
All right, what do we got up? Ah, look at that. Chunky, chunky Walt Disney frag. And this thing's a one, one half inches. So that's huge, you know, in terms of Walt Disney frags. So uh, I think it's one of the uh, the prettiest rainbow tenuouses out there. If you classify it as a rainbow tenuous, I don't even know. It's it's it's, it's certainly one of the older uh, rainbow tenuous. I guess you can classify it as a rainbow tenuous. So uh, the coloration is awesome on this thing. You can see a top down shot of the uh, of the colony. So yeah, it's a good opportunity to pick up a uh, a very large frag on sale. All right, what's next here? The ATL Strawberry Fields. This um, this is a table, and it's bright, bright green, you know, and it's got these strawberry tips on it. It grows really fast. I um, I have it in my frag, and one of my frag tanks, one of my grow out tanks, and I also put a frag in my new uh, Peninsula tank. So I really dig it. It's um, it's so cool. I'll stick as many tables as I can <laughs> in my tanks because I love tables so much. Look at the, uh, there's the mother colony on the ATL strawberry. For, it's a classic. It's been around for a very, very long time. I kind of like to um, specialize in the classic uh, SPS corals out there. So, yeah. If you want to check out, a, you know, try a table. Try that one out. All right. This is probably... One of the nicest, maybe the nicest uh, strawberry shortcake that I've seen in my time in the hobby, the uh, BC Hyperberry. And um, I think these are the, some of the frags that were cut a long time ago. So they're pretty much, except for one of them, all very well uh, encrusted and super, super chunky. This particular frag's one and one half inches uh, long, multi branched, multi branched. And there's the colony shot. So um, just very deep deep uh, bright red polyps and uh, super green branches I um, I love it and I, I put a frag in my peninsula tank all right this is a a new release last year when I visited Chris at ACI aquaculture this is one of the frags that I acquired you know from him the ACI dragon fruit it's an encrusting montipore I don't think it's a, he doesn't think it's an undata coral and um so this is kind of like the first time i'm offering it up for uh for sale but it's kind of deep blood red skin with these white uh neon polyps super cool and um these frags are already starting to encrust for me so yeah if you're looking for something unique in terms of an encrusting monty then definitely snag the aci dragon fruit it grows fast and it's cool looking. <laughs> All right, we got another Seaquarium Unknown frag. This one is uh, one and one quarter inches, uh, you know, tall. Again, it's a um, it's a very uniquely shaped coral. It's also kind of got that yellowish, uh, greenish coloration, which is not a common coloration I, I think in a uh, in a coral so and, and it develops those um those purple tips and i think the price is right you know the um the price on these um sequarium unknown frags are pretty reasonable especially when you get uh, on sale so i think it's uh it's definitely something unique and worth uh checking out all right what do we got number 27 coming up Nice, chunky, sexy corals, orange passion frag. This one is uh, one and one half inches long. So, man, I've had this for a while, cooking in the frag tank, fully encrusted. Look at the color again. This is a uh, an awesome-looking tenuous. I guess you could call this kind of an old-school uh, tenuous, the sexy corals, uh, orange passion. I... Um, I picked this up a long time ago, so it's been growing. There's a colony in my 187-gallon uh, tank, so it's really pretty neat. And if you're collecting tenuous, it's a good um, one to pick up. All right, what do we got up next? 
This is probably my most popular coral. The uh, Tyree Ice Fire Echinata. Uh, OG. It's um, it's a smooth skin. Acro. It, it can handle lower light. It's probably getting like 150 to 200 par in my tank. So I've got it in the bottom half of my tank. But... Um, you know, it takes a while to get it to established. I wouldn't, I wouldn't blast it with a lot of light. I wouldn't blast it with a lot of light. It's a, um, it's so cool, man, with the, uh, with the blue tips, purplish blue tips, and the creamy, uh, you know, base in terms of the uh, base of the branches. Really neat. And speaking of neat corals, the Crayola plana. This is a table. It's got um, purple tips, green polyps, green base. You're going to see the, uh, the colony um, coming up. And um, I, I, it's, it's, it's been around. I'm, I'm, again, I'm not sure how many folks actually are um, offering this thing up for sale. It's, it's, uh, it's been around in the hobby for a very, very long time. Uh, Sharon, yeah, no coupon codes. Um, all frags are already discounted by up to 20%. Ah, one of my favorites. <laughs> the Cali Tort. Super, super deep purple. Almost kind of like a bluish. I guess it depends on the... Um, lighting that you're using in terms of the uh, the spectrum of the lighting it develops like these um hints of green at the base of the uh, branches and and uh, the at the base of the um of the, of the, uh, the coral lights so yeah look at that thing man that's it, it grows so fast in my tank and uh it's it's you know like stag like so if you want to add a real solid splash of purple then definitely pick up the uh, the Cali Tort. So that frag was a one and one three quarter inch. Uh, so it was a large chunky frag. We've got another um, Seaquarium Unknown frag. This one is a uh, one and one half inch piece. So it's super large, um, very well encrusted as you can see. It's been in the frag tank for a long time. Developing some really cool uh, yellowish, uh, greenish uh, colors on it. Look how cool that shape is. How often do you see a coral that looks like that? In terms of that single stem. Alright, what do we got next? This is one of my um, favorite old school corals the greg hiller's aqua delight i had a big colony in, in one of my tanks it um crapped out on me i picked up another um frag of it look at that aqua uh branches purple polyps and um you know so i just grew it back from a, a frag into a colony and you'll see the uh the colony shot on this thing but um, I don't know. It just kind of glows. Look at that. It just kind of like radiates like that aqua and those polyps. So it's a great contrast of colors. So, yeah. Well, I know my store is like one-stop shopping for classic corals, and that's another classic. All right. What do we got up next? Another Tyre Ice Fire Echinata frag. This one's a one-inch um, large uh, frag. Again, um, super popular classic uh, coral. Doesn't uh, doesn't need a lot of light, and uh, when it gets happy, it it could start growing pretty fast. Might take a while to kind of like establish and and uh, and crust out a little bit at the base, but once uh, once it starts taking off, it'll um, it'll definitely be an eye catcher, and um, yeah. Okay, we got another um, <clears throat> ATL Strawberry Fields. 
frag and this is a um it's like a multi-branch frag but it's actually uh, you know it's an inch but it's multi-branch so and it's already got the um the strawberry tips on it table super bright green and i um i love I love the uh just the coral in in terms of that colony shot it's it's uh one of my favorites in the grow out tank it really is and it, and it's a it's a hardy coral for me too really seems to be pretty hardy orange satosa I think this is the first orange satosa that we've got up up for sale here in the uh in the live sale. This is a uh, one and one quarter inch frag, super super bright orange. I I know a customer had this um, picked this up for me, put it in his tank, and he's like, man, this thing just glows. It just glows, and I think if you um, have the uh, the bluer light spectrum, it's going to really stand out for you. But um, you know, it's a um, it's a Montipora. It's um, really a very um, hardy. It can grow fast. That's a shot of it in my peninsula tank. Just stands out. Just stands out. What's up, brother Gas? This is a uh, an encrusted or Oregon blue tort. It's a uh, it's a one inch frag. So, yeah, man. I mean, if you're looking for like something blue. There's nothing more blue than the Oregon blue tort. Just nothing more blue. Um, and, uh, you know, years and years ago, this used to be a very, very expensive coral. So, uh, you know, these days it could be had at a fair price. And um, it's kind of a chunky frag. Next up is another beautiful, beautiful Jackson's Rainbow Tenuous. I don't know, kind of an under-the-radar Rainbow Tenuous, even though it was like one of the original Rainbow Tenuous out there. And if you get it right, and in my, um, I've got it in both my uh, display tanks, if you get it right in terms of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the water conditioning and the uh and the light it seems to favor like the higher part the three to 350 and that's what will bring out the um the red and the, the pink um polyps uh it's got you know a lot of blue in it too so yeah like a rainbow of colors but i think i think it's worth the hype i think that um there's a lot of rainbow tenuous out there but this thing kind of like was the uh, one of the first out there um and it's so cool Another chunky, chunky EC Hyperberry multi-branch, and this one's one and one quarter inches long. I think this is another one that's pretty well uh, fully encrusted by now since it was fragged a long time ago. So it's been sitting in the frag tank waiting for this live sale. Um, I, I'll say it again, probably the most um, striking strawberry shortcake I've seen since I've been in the uh, in the hobby. So super, um, super cool. Super bright red polyps. <clears throat> All right. Got another um, Superman Monty uh, Aura Frag. You can see this one's already starting to, um, to encrust. Got that awesome purplish lavender skin with the bright red polyps and yeah i stuck it in my peninsula tank my colony because i had it in, the in, my, in one of my grow out tanks i stuck it in the peninsula tank because i wanted a splash of color in that tank and um yeah you know so it just stands out you know it's like super bright red look at that freaking cool All right. Next, we've got another Pearlberry knockoff table. So, yeah, 
what I thought was an ORA pearlberry was not, but it turned out to be a really wicked cool looking uh, coral and a table to boot. So this is a, um, a nice large frag, an, an inch and one quarter. Like I mentioned, I don't have a lot of nubs in this uh, live cell. I think I maybe have two or three three-quarter inch frags. So most of these frags are over an inch. They grow fast in my tanks, folks. I don't know. You'd have to help me out and pick up some of these uh, frags. And it helps support the channel. All right, next. I think this is the first um, ORA Hawkins frag in the uh, live sale. Similar thing, old school coral, a bright, bright, solid color. This is a uh, bottle brush coral, super bright teal. Um, grows like a weed for me in my um, 187 gallon tank. Grows like a weed. So it's a... Um, Again, if you want to kind of add a big, solid, eye-catching type of uh, colored coral, then this thing will uh, definitely stand out. And, you know, it could even be like a centerpiece. I got two colonies in my 187-gallon tank. I like it so much. I've got two colonies. Got another um, Sexy Corals Orange Passion frag. This is a uh, one and one quarter inch coral so it's got the uh the really cool orange uh, polyps on it and um yeah so it's it's a um one of the classic tenuous out there if you're a tenuous uh collector i think this is something you definitely need to uh consider to to add to your collection kind of got those uh purplish um tips and, and certain uh spots on it i'm gonna have to um frag a huge chunk of that out of my display tank because it's starting to get uh, it's been getting crowded out by the Cali tort all right this is a uh, a new release for me and it is probably not a lot of folks have heard of this but it's been around the hobby for a very very long time it's called the Larry Jackson purple tip acro it's just like a basic tricolor SPS but I just love tricolors. I, I love them. I think they're so cool looking. They've kind of got these dense branches. You'll see the um, the mother colony in my um, in my frag tank. Look at that, man. I mean, it's got these purple tips, green greenish branches, and kind of a creamy um, base. I think they're uh, green polyps on it. So it's a real classic tricolored coral that's been in the hobby for a long long time got another bc hyperberry frag that um how big is this one one on one half inches the uh the bc hyperberry so uh yeah this one i think was fragged a uh, week and a half ago Again, though, it's a um, it's an awesome strawberry shortcake. So if you don't have this, if you like strawberry shortcakes, it's a um, it's a great one to add. Okay, next up, we've got another Greg Hiller's. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we got another BC Hyperberry, super chunky BC Hyperberry. This is also one and one half inches, but it's actually a, a multi branch. So it's an opportunity to get this one is um is a very well encrusted frag that um has been cooking for a couple months since january so this is a um this is a good one to snag if you want if you want to pick up the bc hyperberry all right next we've got another Greg Hiller's, oops, I'm jumping the gun here. Another Greg Hiller's Aqua Delight. This particular one is a, a one-inch frag. Just, just the um, 
the aqua coloration on this thing and the uh, purple polyps it's a pretty pretty cool contrast I only have two of these um, frags in the live sale so I think that's the um, the last one I've got up for grabs here t today That's the mother colony. Grows fast. Grows fast for me. It's getting about 200 par. And we've got another Reef Bum Gold Medal Millie. I gotta remember the name of this uh, this Cops. The, um, not the Cops Hoko Millie. Oh, 24K Millie, I think is what it's called. The Cops 24K Millie. It looks a lot like that to me um but the cops doesn't have these um these kind of um green tips on the branches which are so neat they're so neat i'll i'll stick any millie in my tanks I, that's how much i like millies I, I just love the polyp extension on these things you can kind of even see like a greenish um you know the uh, the polyps on these things in certain regards they, they have like some green highlights which is really neat kind of a close-up shot of it Another nice chunky ATL strawberry fields. This one is um, one and one quarter inches long, multi-branched. Thanks, Reef Under the Roof. Tips for coloring up uh, acros. Um, good quality lighting, elevated pH in the um, 8.2 to 8.4 range. Stable alkalinity. I like to keep my alkalinity in the 8.5 to 9.0 uh, range. Um, some nutrients, nitrates and phosphates, you know, at um, lower levels. But, yeah, I don't use any amino acids or coral food. All right, next we got the uh, Tyree Ice Fire Echinata again. This one's a, uh, a one-inch uh, frag. Really cool kind of cream color with those um, purplish tips. The, these uh, frags are obviously tips of the uh, the coral itself in terms of the branches. So you're going to see more uh, purple in, in these uh, frags, and you kind of see the uh, the cream as you get further down on the frag, just like what that colony is looking like. All right, got another blue boy table frag. This particular one's one and uh, one quarter inches uh, long. I talked about this before, but um, it uh, can tolerate lower light. I don't think it really impacts the color of it. I've had I've had it uh, both in lower light and and higher light, and the color seems to kind of hold. Kind of got that baby blue color. But how many times do you see a blue table? It's really cool with the uh, with the orange polyps. It'll encrust a lot at first, so you can kind of see all the, uh, the encrustation on that um, piece. But once it encrusts, it'll start sprouting those branches. Eagle Eye Zoas. I got some Zoas on the live sale. I've got a mat of these in my, uh, my 187 gallon tank. So I think these are some classic Zoas. I am not a, uh, an expert on zoanthids. I just put a couple of small frags in my tank years ago, and they just freaking grew like crazy. Just carpeted the bottom. I've got these, and I've got some others that we'll see in the uh, in the live sale. So I've got plenty of zoas. More more frags to uh, to come. Oh, I got a couple in live sale, but certainly hit me up if you miss any in the live sale. Another ORA, ORA Hawkins frag. This is actually a um, an inch tall. 
Another pretty popular uh, coral that I sell. People like this uh, coral, and I um, I get it. Like I said, I got two colonies in my display tank, and it's and it's another. I like corals that um, you can see from across a room that uh, really just kind of stand out, no matter what kind of lighting you have. And um, I I think if you had some really blue lights, I'm not sure maybe these these would um, glow even more than than what they do in my tank under metal halides. Don't have a frag yet in my peninsula tank under the LEDs. I have to change that. A very chunky, chunky Cali tort frag, one and one half inches long. I've got so much Cali tort that I don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a great price in terms of the uh, the sale price on this thing. So. Um, I think it depends in terms of the conditions of your tank and the lighting in terms of what it looks in terms of more purple or more um, blue. But one thing is for sure, once it gets happy, it can grow pretty darn fast. All right, what do we got next? We've got another Noka stylo frag and this one is one and one quarter inches it uh it can take a lot of abuse so if your tank parameters are not ideal or if um you know you get a alk swing or something this thing can kind of take it all style style of fours are very hardy corals and i think um those are kind of good corals to, to start off with if your tank is at the younger end of its life cycle or um uh, younger stage of its life cycle but super super bright purple gorgeous coral i would say it's a centerpiece type of coral that um is very reasonably um priced very reasonably priced so i think this is the only um wet thumbs mother of pearl frag that i have in the uh, live school um the live sh uh, show super super old school i don't know how many of you folks out there remember this um this coral again it's something that um is probably kind of hard to find but it's um very purple gotta love purple it's kind of got the um a, a creamy greenish um base i guess yeah there you could kind of see the um uh, in the uh the mother colony the, the greenish uh, base um really cool really cool uh old school coral And we've got another Crayola Plana frag. This one I had fragged a while ago, so it's been in my frag tank for a while. It's a, uh, a one and one half inch uh, frag. So good chunky Crayola Plana. I mean, look at that. You know, green, purple, cream color. And it's a table. And it's a table. So... If you're um, if you're into tables and it's got kind of like a very dense, you know, form in terms of the um, look, look at the uh, kind of the dense formation of that table. I don't know how to describe that, but um, really neat, really cool coral. Everybody that picks it up just um, really um, has nothing but nice nice things to say about it. This is another. Very large, very large um, Walt Disney. So it's a, um, how big is this Walt Disney? One and one half inches. Big. It's chunky. So if you want a head start with the Walt Disney, probably one of the most well-known tenuous out there. And it's, it, um, it's worth it, man. I mean, it's it's totally worth the uh, the, the higher cost for this uh, particular coral. And in terms of comparing to other tenuous out there, Rainbow Tenuous, I think it's reasonably priced. There's crazy stuff out there in terms of the pricing. Crazy. Another Pearlberry knockoff table frag. This is a... Um, 
one and one quarter inch uh, frag. So yeah, another very large um, pearlberry knockoff table frag. One of these days, I'm going to get the real ORA Pearlberry. One of these days. I used to have it in my uh, old 225-gallon tank in Connecticut, and it was a uh, and it's a gorgeous coral. So I am on the hunt. If anybody knows where to, to, where to get an ORA Pearlberry, the actual ORA Pearlberry, then I'm all ears. Another Mystic Sunset. Monty encrusting Monty. Pretty freaking cool. Pretty freaking cool. Bright red with the neon purple uh, polyps. Thanks, Sharon. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the order. Yeah, I hear you. Super, super red encrusting, uh, Monty. But when you start looking at the details of this thing, it's neat. Really neat. Those neon polyps. All right, what do we got next? Another large ORA Hawkins rag. This is one and one half inches. It's a large one. And, um, yeah, you know, you also got to be careful in terms of these smooth skin, uh, acros in terms of dipping, you know, they're going to be a little bit more sensitive when you dip for, um, for pests. So you just got to be careful with them. But, um, I love the bottle brushes, you know, look at that bottle brush kind of formation on the, uh, on the coral. But not only does it have a kick-ass coloration, but it's got a kick-ass, um, um, in, in terms of the, uh, the shape of it. Another Tyree Red Dragon rag. This is a, uh, almost two inches, one and three quarter inch Tyree Red Dragon. So it's another smooth skin type of, um, coral. And, you know, this was years and years ago was all the rage. This thing I think might've been going for $200 a frag. Now it's uh it's it's a very common coral. It grows fast. So it can be propagated very um fast. And it grows like a weed for me. Grows like a weed. All right. What do we got next? <laughs> This is a great name. The Sanjay's Leprechaun's Beard. Sanjay's Leprechaun's Beard. Another classic. Another table. It's a very hairy, large polyp extension on this, uh, on this acro. So, and it grows fast. It grows fast for me. So if you're in the, uh, you know, really cool, kind of like green base, purple tips, airy. If um, if you're on the hunt for for a few tables, think of this one. Think about the uh, pearlberry knockoff table. Think of the Crayola Plana. All um, great, great tables. Another um, Arn Satosa rag here. This one is uh, one inch, but it's also multi-branch. Definite, definite splash of color that you will add to the tank with the uh, the orange Satosa. Super, super hardy Montipora. Another coral that I um, put the colony in my Peninsula tank right there. Starting to encrust on the bare bottom. Yeah, Sharon, you won't be disappointed. Satos is awesome. This is, I think, the first time we've had the um, this frag up uh, for sale in the live sale. The BC Cool No Name. So I picked this up from Adam 
at Battle Corals a couple of years ago and um, called it a no name, but it's super, super neat. It's got these like purple um, coral lights, green polyps. It just kind of like radiates color. I mean, look at that. Look at that colony shot. It just kind of like radiates colors. So there's there's a multiple colors um, on this thing, and it's um, I don't know what kind of coral it is. I don't know. Maybe it's a staghorn. Maybe maybe it's not a staghorn. I, I don't know if anybody knows. Help me out on that one. Um, but yeah, love it. Another uh, Crayola Plana. This one's um, been fragged for a while, so it's encrusted since I shot the video on it. And um, one and one quarter inch is tall, but I think it's even wider across. Table, purple tip, green, cream base colored table. Can't go wrong. Got another Larry Jackson purple tip. Acro. I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed if you pick up this coral because it um, it grows pretty fast. Tricolor. I mean, there's there's some crazy corals out there in terms of names and high prices and all that stuff. And I'm sure there's a lot of tricolors that have just been renamed these um, crazy names and got these crazy price tags. Very reasonably priced, cool looking, colorful coral. It's just neat. I mean, it's a neat looking coral. You know, the contrast in colors is a um, is a thing that I love to see with with corals and this thing really does um fit that bill. Oop, another BC cool no name. Yeah, thanks Bay Area Reefs. For sure. Another BC cool uh no name. This one is um another one and one quarter inch uh frag. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it um, it grows pretty fast when it's happy. Probably getting about 200 par in my grow out tank, but it's you know if if you if you dig like multiple colors in a coral in terms of polyps and coral lights, this thing is outstanding. Got another um, Tyree Blue Matrix. Between this one and the Tyre Ice Fire Echinata and the Purple Slimer, those are my most popular corals. And um, after this live sale, I'm not sure I'm going to have much left. Getting pretty hit pretty hard. Barrier Reefs. Yeah, I'll, uh, I did a, uh, a walk through the 187 gallon uh, system with the uh, with the Dream Box. So check that video out on my uh, YouTube channel. But maybe I should do an update on the. Um, Oh, equipment walkthrough on the peninsula tank. And we've got another Oregon blue tort frag. Very colorful uh, frag. One and one quarter inches uh, tall. Everybody needs an Oregon blue tort in their tank. That's my favorite coral along with the Tyree Purple Monster. One of these days, one of these live sales, I'm going to have the Tyree Purple Monster. It's growing really, really slow for me. I used to grow it at such a fast clip in my old tank. But, I don't know. These days, it's just not cooperating. Okay, next up is another large ATL Forest Fire Digi frag. This is a wide body. This one is a um, 
one and one quarter inches tall, but it's got to be uh, um, wider than that in terms of the length of this coral. So yeah, this is another coral that if your um, you know your tank is kind of been um, not optimal in terms of the parameters, and it, it can take a lot. All the, all the digits I find can take um, take a lot of abuse. Another sexy corals, uh, orange passion. This is actually a one inch uh, frag. This coral, you know, as, long as, as well as the Walt Disney and the um, Jackson's Rainbow Tenuous are um, outstanding Rainbow Tenuous. No, Sammy 31D, I do not have an acro eating flatworm issue. That might be some other YouTuber. All right, we got another Cali Tort frag coming up here. This particular one is one and one quarter inches uh, long, and it, uh, yeah, you can't pick up one of these Cali torts in the uh, in the live sale. Then uh, they're certainly available as fresh cuts on my website. All right, I don't have a lot of these. The Tyree Superman uh, Tenuous. It's a um, it's a very very old school Tenuous, bright blue. And if you want a, a blue Tenuous, this is the one to pick up. It's kind of got the uh, orangey uh, polyps on it. So it's a um, this is the only frag I've got. I had another frag that was just a fresh cut that somebody picked up um, today, yesterday. This is the only one I got in the uh, in the live sale. It, uh, there's the colony shot. It, the colony now is a little larger than that. But, um, yeah, it's a wicked blue tenuous. And that's, I don't know how uh, often you see that. Another uh, radioactive zoas. Yeah, Sammy 31D. I think maybe uh, I did a video on a new acro eating flatworm dip. So frags that I bring in, I'll dip to... Um, get rid of the acro eating flatworms. I got a quarantine system set up that, well, I'll keep corals in for up to six weeks and I will do weekly dips with the potassium chloride to make sure that I don't have any acro eating flatworms that can make it into any of my uh, main display tanks. And I'll also uh, do a dip to um, make sure I don't get any kind of bugs. Fractiles are three inches. Fractiles are three inches. So this is another um, ACI dragon fruit. New release. I've got several frags of this uh, available. I think two or three in the live sale. And um, it grows fast. It's super cool. Picked it up from Chris at ACI Aquaculture last year. And um, it's growing at a pretty good clip for me. So I just started fragging this coral. If you want to pick up a unique Monty, then this is a good one to pick up. I think this is the first uh, tub stiletto Monty I've got in the live sale here. Another very, very hardy um, coral Montipora. Branching Montipora, bright, bright green polyps, and a um, and a purple skin. So it um, it'll encrust first for you. And I've got a huge colony, a huge colony of it 
in my um, 187 gallon um, display. This is another coral that's just uh, an eye catcher, striking. I mean, there's the mother colony, and I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just like those green polyps and that purple skin. So again, another um, really cool contrasting colors in the uh, in the coral. And it, uh, you got to be careful because it can grow pretty fast. It can be a pretty uh, aggressive uh, coral. Got another Oregon blue tort. This particular um, Oregon blue tort is one and one half inches uh, tall. I think this was one of the first kind of collector SPS I ever had. Or at least that I targeted. I'm not sure how well I did at the beginning when I first um, had this um, coral in my tanks. But a fellow hobbyist just gave me a whole bunch of free frags of it. He gave me like two or three frags. It was growing like a weed for him. So he did me a solid. And um, yeah, I, I, um, I, I had some large colonies in my old tank in Connecticut. And now I've got some super large colonies um, you know, here in my 187-gallon uh, display. Some more eagle eye zoas. And um, I talked about this before. I've got a lot of zoanthids, a lot of eagle eye zoanthids. So there's, there's a lot of, um, what do you call them, um, polyps on this, a lot of heads, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm an SPS guy. It's a rather large piece. How many, uh, how large is it? It's like an inch long or something. Thanks, Jared. Do I ever sell random SPS pa packs? I might have to start doing that at some point down the road. Right now, I don't do that. Another uh, BC Cool no name. This one's uh, big. It's one and one half inches. So it's kind of got the uh, the lavender tips, coralites, green uh, polyps that you can see there. Just kind of like a whole array of colors and kind of a staghorn type of growth pattern on it. Yeah, I would call that a staghorn. Iridescent, iridescent coloration. Grows fast. Another Jason Fox Frankie's Kryptonite Acro. As I mentioned at the beginning, I got 100 frags in the uh, in the live sale, so we got about another uh, 20 to go. And um, the Jason Fox Frankie's Kryptonite Acro is an Ostera that um, grows really well for me. I guess I keep talking about how, how my growth is uh, off the hook, but... I think the pH thing and the caulk wasser that I use is a big part of that. It, uh, my pH average is probably 8.3 for both systems. I dose caulk wasser in addition to using the, uh, the calcium reactor. And it's a big part of it. I think that's a big part of it. Another um, Tyria Red Dragon. Drew, how do I get such a great polyp extension? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I, I guess it, it could also depend in terms of if you have any coral nippers in terms of fish in the, uh, in the tank, but, um, check out a video I did on, uh, on my YouTube channel. I talk about like the top things that, um, I think are key for, um, for polyp extension. All right, what do we got up next here? Uh, okay, this is a um, this is the only frag that I have of this particular uh, coral in the live sale, and uh, I lost this colony a few years ago in my display tank. Actually, it was getting shaded out in the display tank by the Cali tort, or maybe it was uh, the sexy corals orange passion. It was getting shaded out, so I rescued a little. Half inch, three quarter inch frag, and started growing it out in the frag tank. And um, 
So now I've got a couple of little mini colonies in the uh, the frag tank. There's one of them that um, I have. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's been resurrected, and this is the only one that I have in the live sale. It is a classic, classic, um, old school coral as well. Cali tort. Another Cali tort. Uh, Rob of St. New York, are you selling it? You're, no, I'm not going to. I'll be there, but I'm not going to be selling. I'll be just kind of wandering around at Reef of Palooza, wrapping New York. Yep, this one is a uh, one and one half inches uh, tall. Tips on RTN and uh, STN. You might want to think about dosing bacteria if you haven't um, done so. You know, the more beneficial bacteria, the, the possibly the better. If you even do a, um, a test, Aquabiomics, I think is the name of the company. You can do a, a test to see if you have um, more bad guy versus good guy bacteria. Another Reef Bum Gold Metal uh, Millie. This is a small frag for this live show. This is a small... This is a small frag. This is not one of the other three-quarter inch, maybe the, the, the second three-quarter inch frag that I have in the live show. But the price is reflected in terms of the size of the frag. But as you can see, it's a very healthy frag. And it's a really cool looking frag. It's got great polyp extension. It's a melee. It's golden with the green tips. So I've talked about this. Millies are the bomb. Another Sunset Monty. You want to collect some crusting Montiporas, this this should be part of your um collection. This should be part of your collection. And and again, it's just it's eye catching terms of the bright orange and the bright green polyps on this thing. But, you know, Clyde, the other thing is sometimes the RTN, STN, it's a mystery. Sometimes it's a mystery, but I would definitely um, think about dosing bacteria and getting a uh, bacteria test. All right, this is the second and last chunky, chunky Jason Fox home record frag. This is one and one quarter inches, and this is another large chunky frag that you can probably frag the frag and make some money back on it. I, um, you know, listen, it's not cheap. It's not a cheap coral, but I, um, I, I paid retail for my frag a few years ago, so. Um, but it grows pretty well. It it grows pretty well for me in terms of like all the tenuous that I have. I think this um, this does grow um, pretty pretty fast versus the others that I have, um, and it doesn't disappoint. I also got a frag, another frag in my two hundred twenty five gallon peninsula tank. So I've kind of banked that coral in my other system. Another uh, Milka Stylo, another Milka Stylo. If um, this this is a large uh, Milka Stylo, uh, one and one half inches, multi branch. I talked about this before, but this is this is like a centerpiece coral. Jake Adams talked about this uh, coral, and I know he has um, grows grows this thing like a weed, like I do. So it's um it's cool. I went to another um um fellow hobbyist uh house and he had a uh milk of stylo in the middle of his tank and that was like the first coral that I noticed. It just it caught my eye. Tyre Red Dragon. Kind of a funky shape to it, but it's a large, large uh, frag. Yeah, I saw that, Jared, that uh, Unique Corals is selling the uh, rock from Australia. My only <clears throat> hesitation with that rock, and I'm not knocking Unique Corals, is that uh, if it's coming in from Australia, you know, how much of the 
how much life was lost in transit. It's got to be uh, several days in transit. You know, I don't think they're going to be shipping those things in um, in water. I've used um, the KP Aquatics live rock that's uh, aquacultured in the uh, Florida Keys, and um, I think it was awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. So if you're looking for some live rock, then uh, you might want to check out uh, KP Aquatics. Very rich in um, life. Another uh, purple slimer frag. Yeah, Clyde, I hear you, man. Got to give the milk a lot of love, right? Another purple slimer frag. I talked about this. My purple slimer colony in my display tank looks hideous right now. Just all, there's a lot of chop marks on it. <laughs> a lot of chop, chop marks on it, but there's a reason behind that. People dig it. All right, what do we got next? Another ORA Hawkins frag. This one is a uh, it's a one inch frag, but as you can see, it's a uh, multi branch. It's hard not to get a multi branch ORA Hawkins since it's a bottle brush. Um, once it gets happy, man, it uh, it could take off. It could take off. And it's reasonably priced. I mean, look, you know, 36 bucks for that frag. I think that's that's a great price. You know, that's an affordable coral. And that's the whole thing in this hobby. is like so, certain certain parts of this hobby are becoming very not affordable. If that makes sense. Radioactive zoanthids. I'm not sure if we've um, had one of these frags up uh, yet. For uh, for sale on the live sale, but that's the other uh, zoanthid that I have that is just carpeted the bottom of my 187 gallon display tank. I think these zoanthids have been around for a while. Bright uh, bright green with the kind of um, lime green rims on them. I agree, Clyde. I don't have a green slimer. I used to have a green slimer. And uh, it grew so fast for me that I thought it actually grew out of the water. Aggressive coral. Purple slimer, not as fast grower for me. This is another um, orange setosa frag. I um, I love I love staghorns, but uh, yeah, that would be kind of a neat thing to have the uh, purple slimer and the green slimer together. I don't know. Maybe I should think about picking up a green slimer frag and start growing that thing out. We shall see. But the Tyree Lime in the Sky is sort of a similar looking type of uh, staghorn. Certainly not as, certainly doesn't grow as fast. All right. Tubbs Stiletta Monte. It's the second frag that I have here for the uh, for the tubs. Another OG uh, coral, another OG Montipora, branching Montipora. And again, when when this thing first kind of like um, started making its way into the uh, into the hobby, it was a uh, it was like a must-have Montipora. So it's kind of like an under the radar, maybe underappreciated coral these days. I don't know. I don't see it uh, for sale a lot uh, out there, but um, I don't know. I love it. All right, next up. I think this is the last Walt Disney frag I got in the uh, in the live sale. Um, really very colorful. Uh, Walt Disney. It's a. Um, it's actually one and one half inches uh, tall, so it's kind of um, looks a little smaller versus the other uh, Walt Disney next to it that you can see right there. Yeah, you know what? Again, it's worth the hype. It's worth the hype. Uh, I talked about this before, but uh, you know some of these rainbow tenuous out there are like six, eight hundred dollars. 
I'm just not paying that kind of money for a rainbow tenuous that um, looks like Menza Menza under uh, full spectrum lighting. That's just me, but I'm not uh, I'm not poo pooing any folks out there that uh, like that sort of stuff. I mean, every that's a great thing about this hobby, right? Is that uh, it's a uh, it's a very personalized kind of taste. So um, to each his own, you know. You uh, I like to always quote this movie. Um, um, what's the name of the uh, the movie? Um, Boogie Nights. You wear what you dig. I forget the name of the character that um, had that line. You wear what you dig. So, you know, you put the corals in the tank that you dig. I'm just, uh, you know, I have my certain tastes and everybody else uh, out there has certain tastes. So if I talk down to anybody, I didn't mean that. But uh, just having a little fun. Another BC Hyperberry frag, another chunky, chunky BC Hyperberry frag. Uh, this one is uh, one and a quarter inches multi branch. Really neat. The other really cool strawberry shortcake that I have uh, growing out right now, and I used to have the uh, large colony in my display tank, but I lost it, is the uh, Unique Corals Original Strawberry Shortcake from Macna. That's a neat one. So I hope, hope to be having offering frags of that um, down the road. This is another uh, kryptonite. Nope, this is a Tyree Lime in the Sky. It's next to a kryptonite uh, tenuous. So this is an, uh, another... Um, now, this is a kryptonite tenuous. I'm all confused now. The end of the show, and I'm like screwing up. <laughs> so this is the, this is that kryptonite uh, tenuous. The um, you'll see the colony shot that uh, I have in my uh, peninsula tank. I moved this uh, colony from my grow out system into my peninsula tank because I wanted a real big splash of neon green. And uh, it gets great polyp extension. It, uh, it grows really fast. So you could um, certainly recoup uh, your money by selling frags of this thing very, very uh, soon. This is a Tyree Lime in the Sky. This is the Tyree Lime in the Sky with the purple uh, tip. I should have known it wasn't a prior one, was it? Because it didn't have that purple tip on it. Or not purple, but uh, baby blue tip on it. We have a run of have a run of green frags here. There's the colony shot. And another kryptonite tenuous frag. Thanks, Clyde. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for uh, watching. This is a uh, this is a huge kryptonite tenuous. This is like a two inch multi branch kryptonite tenuous frag. So if you want kind of like sort of a mini colony to start, then um, great coral to uh, to pick up. Some people don't like uh, green corals for some reason, but I think that um, they really just stand out just because of the uh, the colors on them. So what that it doesn't have contrasting couple multiple uh, colors? I think one solid color, like I've talked about throughout this live stream, uh, there's something to be said about that. And the final coral up for the live sale is the Eagle Eye Zoanthids. And you, you can get uh, multiple um, polyps. For a darn good uh, price. And um, yeah, they, um, they're beautiful uh, zoanthid. I think they're kind of like a classic, classic zoanthid that's been around for a long time. But yeah, I just stuck a little frag in my tank 
and this that that's just a sampling of um and you kind of see it below to the right of that below it that it's it's spread all over the place but again it's um it's I don't know if I mentioned this, but the uh, that particular zoanthid and the other radioactive uh, zoanthids have been growing up on my rock work, and they have been not uh, and they have not been bothering my acros. So even though they've kind of spread up to the um, to the top part of the uh, the rock work, the middle and the top part of the rock work, it's they're not bothering anything, which is good. You know, obviously if they were, then that would be a um, a problem. So, folks, that's um. That's it. Those are the hundred um, frags in the uh, in the live sale. And um, yeah, listen, I uh, I want to thank all of you that um, participated in the live sale and participated in the chat that made purchases. Thank you so much for supporting the uh, the channel. It is uh, it is awesome. And um, yeah, and if and if you happen to buy a shipping module, then you ended up going over the $300 that shipping module will be refunded I will um, I will re be reaching out to each uh, you know all the folks that made purchases on the live sale to uh, try to figure out shipping next week we'll be doing a lot of shipping but like I talked about at the beginning <clears throat> if you want to take advantage of the sale prices for the live sale they will be good until Tuesday March 29th Thank you, Stacy. So if if you um, are catching the replay on this, then uh, and if you catch the replay before Tuesday, March 29th, then you will be able to take advantage of the uh, the discounts. You could just um, see the uh, corals in the WYSIWYG section of the uh, website, and if you even um, visit reefbum reefbum.com slash shop live sale you will get to the WYSIWYG section of the website, but you could just kind of go and navigate to that on the uh, the new reefbum.com. And um, yeah, I hope I hope the shopping experience was good. It took a lot of work to redesign the uh, the uh, the website, but I um, am stoked to finally have a new website. I think it's a much better user experience. Love to get some feedback from you guys if um, you've been on the old site and have been on the uh, the new site shopping. So I'm just really trying to emphasize the uh, coral part of my business more. So, uh, yeah. And um, what else can I talk about? If, um, if anybody wants to reach out to me with any um, questions, there's a contact form on the website. So, listen, I, I, um, I really appreciate taking part of your day, your part of your Saturday to tune in and watch the, uh, the live sale. It's been a lot of fun for uh, for me. I, uh, I definitely had to uh, do some juggling in uh, in terms of managing the stream, managing the inventory on the uh, on the website. I was uh, I'm a one man show, so it's uh, it can be a challenge in certain respects. But uh, hopefully uh, hopefully it was a good uh, experience for everybody. But anyway, listen, I um, I appreciate you folks tuning in. And enjoy the rest of the weekend. So I will, uh, I will see you again live next Thursday. My guest on Rampin' with Reef Bum at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is uh, is Tim Herman. Hey, thanks, Rob, upstate New York. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, thank you very much. Tim Herman is another uh, coral farmer, and um, should be another really interesting discussion. So hopefully, we will see you guys on that uh, live stream next Thursday. Until then, be safe, be well, and we'll see you next time. Adios.